All right, week two of the NFL season. We open up here with the Saints Dolphins is the game uh, on a, on the Sunday of week two. A big completion to the outside there to Brandon Cooks from Breeze. Breeze again, another huge completion. That's Ryan Switzer in for the touchdown. Saints up seven nothing. Dolphins trying to match. Nice completion to the outside there. Caught. They will go for the field goal here, and they will make it a 7-3 game. So pretty competitive early here in the first half. Now Drew Brees up the middle, another huge catch. Now Drew Brees looking again. He rolls a little bit to the right. He finds Ryan Switzer. Switzer is quick enough. He is going to outrun all of those defenders for another touchdown. 14-3 Saints. Now the Dolphins have some catching up to do. He's going deep, and it's intercepted. Wow, what a bad throw there for Tannehill on the one-on-one -on -one coverage. So now Breeze is going to throw here. Michael Thomas is going to go down the field, pick up a good chunk. Now Breeze looking again. He's looking a little deep there, and it's caught. That's how you throw a deep ball. Now on third and 20 after a sack... He throws to Switzer, cannot pick it up, so they will be going for the field goal here at the end of the first half. It is good. 17-3 at halftime. Saints get the ball coming out of the into the second half here, and it's complete down the center of the field. Nice completion. Drew Brees looking again. He's looking for another completion, and he has another completion. Looks like Josh Hill out there. Drew, oh, no, that's Kobe Fleener. And there's a fumble, and it is picked up by the Saints, but they will have to punt. Now the Dolphins are going to be going down the field here. They're trying to catch up in this game, down 17-3 in the third quarter. Nice throw to the outside there from Tannehill, but there's a flag. It is a face mask, though, and they are going to end up picking up an extra, some extra yards. The drive stalls, but they're able to get another field goal, so. 17 to 6 right now in this game. Dolphins defense needs to come up big. Drew Brees is going to look. He's going to find to the right side. And a nice completion there. Now 17 to 6 still in the third. At the end of the third. Last play of the third. And Switzer with his third touchdown of the day. 24 to 6 lead for the Saints. Outside, a little slip screen for the Dolphins. This is big, and that is a very, very nice completion and run. So the Dolphins put themselves in position. Another slip screen here to Jay Ajayi, and Ajayi trying to jump his way into the end zone. He gets there. So a 24-13 to lead for the Saints, and the Dolphins here at the end of the game trying to come down the field. They definitely have a chance to bring this one within a one-score game late in the day. And he's going to throw, and it is picked off, and that is it. Ryan Tannehill has just ended the game with that interception. It is a 24-13 win. You can see Ryan Switzer gets player of the game. Honors with seven catches for 161 yards, three touchdowns. Drew Brees, 45, all three touchdowns going to Ryan Switzer. Brandon Cooks, Cooks caught for 132. Delvin Bro with an interception in the game. Cameron Wake with a sack. Tannehill, two touchdowns. Uh, a touchdown, two interceptions. Jay Ajayi, only 15 yards on the ground, but he was big in the passing game. 73 yards and a touchdown. So the Dolphins go to 0-2. The Saints move up to 2-0. Saints will take on Tampa Bay next week. Big divisional matchup. As we move on here to Seattle and Jacksonville. Jacksonville is going to open this game up. Huge play to Julius Thomas going down the right side. They end up with a field goal after the drive stall, so a 3-0 lead for the Jaguars. Seahawks coming down the field now. Russell Wilson looking up the center, and he finds a nice pass there. Coming down to answer. Portals. Nice throw. And wow, nobody is going to catch him. Unbelievable play. Nice slant pattern. And Hearns with the touchdown. Seattle in a 10-3 deficit. Russell Wilson 
Scrambles to the right and throws a nice pass to the outside. Their drive stalls and they'll take another field goal. 10 to 6 Jacksonville in this game. Coming down to the fourth quarter. This is huge. Seattle's going. Russell Wilson throws to the left side. Complete. They are in Jacksonville territory. Russell Wilson throwing the slip screen out to Thomas Rawls. Thomas Rawls faking out a couple people and he will get down to the 17 yard line. Now Procise with a big run to the five yard line. Russell Wilson looking to the end zone. Tipped and caught for the touchdown by Tyler Lockett. So a 13-10 lead for the Seahawks. But there's Allen Robinson with the catch. And he will outrun all Seattle defenders for the touchdown. That's a 17-13 lead. And Russell Wilson is going to have to come down at the end of this game. And that is a huge catch that's going to give them a great shot. But Jacksonville. There goes TJ Yeldon. And he is going to outrun everybody, and that'll be the game. 24-13, Jacksonville. So Jacksonville goes to 2-0 on the year with Yeldon. Seven carries for 89 yards and a touchdown. Portals two touchdowns on the day on only six completions. One to Hearns, one to Robinson. So big plays by the Jacksonville offense. Beats the steady play of the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle will take on Arizona, both teams 0-2 division next week. Jacksonville will go to Pittsburgh. That will be an amazing game to watch. So let's see what the next game has in store for us. It is the San Francisco 49ers and the Indianapolis Colts. This game was a rout. Colts up 3-0. But here goes Tyrod Taylor to the outside. He's going to throw a bomb, and it is caught. An amazing catch at the 23-yard line. Very next play, there goes Carlos Hyde, and he is in, he's at the 5-yard line. So now Tyrod Taylor is going to look to his right, and he is mugged. It is a pass interference, but they do not need it, as that is a touchdown anyways. So 7-3. And here goes the Colts. They are going to come back with a nice pass to Philip Dorsett, who scores. And it is a 10-7 lead for the Colts. But here goes Hyde. With only six seconds to go in the half, he is going to go 75 yards with the airplane into the end zone. 14-10 lead at the half for the Niners. Everything was downhill from there for the Colts. As here goes Hilton. You would think that's a very nice first down play. They should be okay, but there goes Luck up the middle, and he's throwing it to the other color. The 49ers will take over at this point. They would make it to a third down, but the Colts can't get him off the field. That is an amazing catch and run there. And now, slip screen, and there he goes. Close to the end zone, to the one, and Hyde would finish it off. That is a 21-10 lead for the 49ers. Looks like the Colts are driving here. There's Andrew Luck, but he would throw another interception to the 49er defense. With the 21-10 lead, Tyrod Taylor throwing it to the tight end to the outside there. Nice catch. And now a first and 10. Again to the tight end. McDonald having a huge game in this game. Now again, here's Tyrod Taylor. He's going to roll to his right, and he's going to take it himself, and he's going to dive for the end zone. Touchdown, Tyrod Taylor. 28-10 now. This one's getting out of hand, but there we go. Maybe a little bit of daylight. Moncrief is going to score, and that was... Catch and run. Time is running out. Only a minute remaining, and Hyde would get. What was it? I don't know. Mine? He could go all the way.
Oh. Times in the end zone. Times are high. Tyrod Taylor would throw and run for a touchdown. Completed 10 at 13 passes. Mm -hmm. Receptions and they led to points for the 49ers offense. With so, Indiana. the Cleveland Browns. Browns coming in at. Owen or Owen one and the Bears coming in one and zero. Mitch Trubisky having a pretty good rookie first game. And now we'll see what he can do in his encore. Not so bad so far. And nice throw there, pushed out of bounds at the one. That's Travin Durrell. So there is Howard, and Howard gets in the end zone for the lead. Bears looking good so far. Mm. At the 45 of the Browns. They will start another drive. First play of the drive. Nice catch. They are mo moving. Later it would be second and one with only two minutes to go in the half. Nice throw there. Moving on. There goes Deshaun Kaiser. He's going to throw to the right side to Crowell. Crowell spins a guy out. Shakes off the tackle. Gets inside to the five yard line. And then a nice play there to Barnage for the touchdown. 7-7, seven to seven. and it's not over. We are not at halftime, and that is a nice throw to the outside. And that one, well, look at this guy showboating. And it takes him forever. He finally gets in the end zone. 14-7 to seven at the half. The down fleet. And they be coming down the field. That's a completion there. Howard. Is moving and running and big 21 yard run there. Trubisky moving to the outside, complete the Travin Doral. Travin Doral will score 14 14 ball game. Oh, going and he is going to catch that and he could be done for the Browns. They score again 21 14 game. Mitch Trubisky looking to the outside, and he will complete that pass, and Travon Durrell is getting away from a lot of people, but he will finally be brought down. Third and 22. Improbable, but a bomb thrown up in the air, and it is incomplete. <clears throat> but the Bears would get the ball back. <clears throat> With the ball, moving downfield, throwing to the outside. Complete there again. Trubisky on a second and one. We'll get a lot more than one. There's Travin Durrell. He's going to escape again. Travin Durrell having a huge game. Gets to the six. In a 21-14 game, Trubisky runs to the outside. He is taken down big time. So now a second and goal. Trubisky's going to throw to the outside. Complete to Travin Durrell for another touchdown. Travin Durrell having a big game. Tie game at 21. Six seconds left on the clock. Incomplete. Three seconds left on the clock. For the Browns, another incompletion. We have overtime. In overtime, Browns coming down the field. Kaiser, nice completion to Gary Barnage. <laughs> Kaiser again. Another big completion up the center of the field. They're well within field goal range now. Deshaun Kaiser to the outside, almost picked off. They will go with the field goal, and they will get it. But new overtime rules, of course. Bears will get a chance. 
Now Travin Doral on the outside of the field. That is a huge catch. He is into Browns territory at the 40-yard line. Clock is ticking on this overtime period. Mitch Trubisky is going to roll to his right and throw again, and that is a big catch. Now on first down, he throws it up top, and it's caught inside the 5 to the 4. 24 to 21, and he's going to throw there, and wow, just pushing everybody over for the touchdown. And the Bears take this one in overtime as they one up the Browns' field goal with a touchdown. The Bears win this, traveling around nine catches for 194, two touchdowns. Amazing day for him. But this he's 20 out of 27 for 308 and three touchdowns. That is crazy. Um, Deshaun Kaiser did really well himself. 15 out of 26 for 326 and three touchdowns. Kenny Stills caught eight balls for 220 and two touchdowns. Big free agent pickup for them. So we move on to the next game. The Browns are still on two. With two the Cowboys at the Redskins. Let's see what would happen. Here's Kirk Cousins throwing up the middle. Completed there. Second and seven. Kirk Cousins again. This one's going to be the slip screen to Charles Sims. Charles Sims to the outside, completed for the first down. Kirk Cousins is going to hand off to Charles Sims, who will run over a Cowboy defender and get the first down. They would end up with a field goal on that drive. Cowboys take over. Here's Dak Prescott throwing up the middle, and there's Des Bryant. Dak Prescott again throwing up the middle there. A big catch. Dak Prescott again up the middle. Seam route. Caught there. Second and three from the four. He will complete for a touchdown. Dak Prescott's touchdown there. It gives them a 7-3 to three lead. Kirk Cousins to the outside. Complete for a first down. Kirk Cousins again looking, but this time he will fumble. This will be picked up by a Cowboy defender who is going to run it all the way down to the two-yard line. Oh, no, he scores on that one. My my, my apologies. He scores 14-3 Dallas, and now Zeke Elliott on the next Cowboy possession with a huge run. Dak Prescott throwing inside the 10, complete. And now Zeke Elliott, nice juke move, gets them in the end zone, and they are just crushing the Redskins. It is 21-3. Her cousins. There's a big completion. This is Deshaun Jackson. Oh no, this is Percy Harvin, and he is all the way down the field. Percy Harvin was pretty big in this game. And a nice catch there for a touchdown. Redskins trying to get back in the game. Cowboys, though, will throw to the outside. That could have been a touchdown, but it isn't one. So the Cowboys will continue their drive. There's John Ross with it to first down there. 21-10 lead still. Rose to the outside. Complete. Gavin Escobar. Now Kirk Cousins as they get the ball back after a field goal. Jordan Reed to the outside. Complete for another first down. Kirk Cousins again to the outside. Again looking like Jordan Reed with another completion. Third and seven. Cousins looking for another man. Another big catch. Two minute warning hits. First and 10, throwing deep to the end zone. Touchdown. Jamison Crowder, but they would not come back. It is a 24-17 victory for the Cowboys. Big Elliott, 9 carries, 72 yards, and a touchdown. Dede Westbrook was the one making those big plays. Six receptions, 74 yards, touchdown. The fumble recovery for a touchdown was done by Demarcus Lawrence. Kirk Cousins did throw for 226 and two touchdowns. Percy Harvin, like I said, big game for him. Six catches for 91 yards. So, now we'll move on to one of the bigger games of the week. Patriots need to get a, a win, and they will try and do that at home against the Houston Texans. Houston Texans are a pretty good team. They bet up on the Titans last week. And Brock Osweiler off his back foot. It is complete to Will Fuller. They will get deep into the England territory. Now a big catch there for a touchdown. That's C.J. Fedorowicz. 
seven zero Osweiler looking pretty sharp so far. And here we go. Let's see if Jimmy G can look just as good. So Garoppolo now gets sacked on a third down, so the Texans will take the ball back over. Third and 17, Osweiler finds his man, Braxton Miller, going to score on a long touchdown play there. It is a 14-0 lead for the Houston Texans. Thrown to the outside, Edelman complete from Jimmy G. Garoppolo now to the outside, another big completion. This one is Gronk, and Gronk is going to take it all the way to the end zone. 14-7, still a lead for the Texans. Osweiler now is going to look to his right, and he's complete to Braxton Miller. He's throwing really good off balance today. I don't know how he's doing it. Now with only 55 seconds left in the half, there goes Lamar Miller off the slip screen for a first down. Osweiler throwing to the right, complete to Will Fuller. Another first down. They would not get anything out of that drive. Halftime would ensue. And now Gronk from Jimmy G coming out of the half with a big catch there. And now again across the middle. This one is going to be a touchdown for Malcolm Mitchell. At least that's what it looks like. But it is a touchdown, 17-14 to for the Patriots. There goes Osweiler on a really long touchdown, a really long throw for a completion. They would end up with a field goal on that drive. And now the Patriots trying to come down here with three minutes to try and take the lead in this game. They could take the lead 21-20 with a touchdown. And Gronk with a big catch up the middle. Six-yard line, a minute 30 to go. This looks like one of those games that the Patriots win at the end, but it would get to a fourth down, and they would not get it. So the Texans would protect their lead. Braxton Miller, three catches for 114 and a touchdown. That guy that was making those catches out there for New England, Jeremy Curley, four catches, 70 yards, touchdown. Garoppolo, two touchdowns. Osweiler, two touchdowns. They both had very, very similar stat lines. Not bad of a day for both young quarterbacks, but the Texans able to play just enough defense at the end to come away with the Houston 2-0, Patriots 0-2. Now we move on, the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Detroit Lions at Ford Field. Both teams are, uh, well no, the Vikings are 0-1, the Lions are 1-0, but a big run outside, Christian McCaffrey's going to start the game off with a touchdown, 7-0 Vikings. Lions do nothing on their next possession. Vikings get the ball right back. There's really not a lot of highlights in this game. This was a big-time defensive battle. But there's Adam Thielen with the first down. Third and 20 now after big penalties and sacks. And they get as far down as they can. They take a field goal. It is a 10-0 lead for the Vikings. As the first half is... Starting to come down to a close. Matthew Stafford's finally starting to make a little bit of plays here, as you can see. Another nice play there to the right. Matthew Stafford knows he's only got about 40-something seconds left. And a big catch there, but a fumble. And they're able to get it out of bounds. So at the 23 on a first and 10, Stafford throwing up top. Eric Ebron for the touchdown. 10-7, still a lead for the Vikings. Going to the outside there, complete. Now, here he goes, Teddy Bridgewater, making his first start of the season. It is still a 10-7 lead. He's going to throw to the left there. That's Christian McCaffrey coming out of the backfield. 10-7 lead, coming down to the end of the first half. They get nothing out of it. So now, into the second half, they get first possession. More good throws, as you can see here, from Teddy Bridgewater coming off of that brutal, brutal injury a year and a half ago. 13-7 to as they get another field goal out of that drive. And now here late in the fourth. Again, they have been really stopping the Lions today. Here goes Christian McCaffrey. He's trying to end this game with his running. They get another field goal there. 
They make it almost impossible for the Lions to come back, but this interception is what really seals the deal. Stafford, again, another bad game. Last game, he threw for 15 yards. This one, he throws for 94. Just not a good start to the season for Matthew Stafford. Uh, Harrison Smith gets the trifecta. He gets a sack, a forced fumble, and an interception. Teddy Bridgewater, not a bad game for his first game back. And Christian McCaffrey for his first start. Does very well. 19 carries, 77 yards, and a touchdown. Vikings end up going to 1-1. One one. The Lions are also 1-1. One one. Uh, the Vikings will be taking on the 1-1 one one Browns next week. And the Lions will be in Cincinnati to take on the 1-1 one one Bengals. Now the Rams at the Eagles. Eagles had a horrid opening first game. Here they are punting away to the Rams. Or no, this is to the Eagles. Jeremy Kutcher, the rookie corner, is going to make a really nice return here. But it's going to be negated pretty much by an illegal block in the back. Now the Eagles will punt away on their first possession. Tavon Austin. Here he comes. He has a very nice return here. Pretty sad that these are the best things that we can show you in the first quarter. But here goes Carson Wentz, and he makes a very nice throw out to Selleck for a big first down. Now Carson Wentz looking for a man. He's got a deep man there for a touchdown. Deshaun Jackson will score the first touchdown of the game. Here goes Jeremy Kutcher. He is going to cut to the outside, and he has a very long return here. All the way to the Rams 34. Eventually now, coming down, they're at the Rams 18 later in the drive. Big catch there up the center of the field. And now on a second and goal, he's going to throw. And a big run by Blunt for the touchdown. So a 14-0 lead for the Eagles over the Rams. Rams will take over. A couple good first down plays here. Another big clip. Nice big play there. They will end up going for a field goal, and it is pushed out to the right a little bit. So that is a miss, a 14-0 lead for the Eagles, and another huge catch by the John Jackson makes it a 21-0 lead for the Eagles in the third. Now the Rams trying to come down and get themselves back into this game. Jared Goff up the center. And there's the touchdown as he gets hit into the end zone, 21-7 to now. And Deshaun Jackson's not done. What a move there. Down the field, huge play. Getting the Eagles within striking distance of field goal range. That is, they do get the field goal. 24-7 to lead, and the Rams trying to come down. And there's really not enough time. Four seconds left in the game. But Goff does throw a touchdown with four seconds left. And that's how the game would end. They would try to go for two. It would not work. But a 24-13 win for the Eagles. Deshaun Jackson, five catches, 152 yards, and two touchdowns. Wentz played very well. Goff played very well himself. So both of the one and two overall picks in last year's draft doing very, very well. So that is it for the 1 o'clock games of week 3. Um, next episode will be the 4 o'clock games of week 3. Again, guys, don't be afraid. Like, share, comment, subscribe, everything. Uh, thank you again for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you guys. Have a good one.